Hi Gail, I'm going to show you how to put the Angular 2 in. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need scissors. Make sure you have paper or craft scissors. Do not use your good scissors. Tape. I use painter's tape so you could see it, but any tape will do. And an old sewing machine needle. A dull one. So here where it says key, we're going to be cutting that out. So if you, you're going to cut it right along the dotted lines there. And separate it. So now you'll have the two pieces. Now you can take the old sewing machine needle. You can actually put it in your machine and help you punch the hole if you'd like, or you can just push it through by hand. I actually did it by hand, but you can put the old needle in the machine and have the machine help you as well. You're going to take your key and whether or not you put the hole in now or you've already put it in, we're going to lower the needle into that needle hole there. So put the needle down. And then you're going to use those little registration marks to line up with your plate. So you can line up everything and make sure that it's in there perfectly straight. Take a piece of tape and tape down the back side of it. We're going to remove it so you want to make sure you only tape it from the back like that. So here I'm zooming in so you can see the registration marks how they line up with the needle plate. So when you bring the angler in, make sure that you can read the writing. Because if you have it backwards, it's a no, 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 no. Make sure you can read the writing. So you're going to slide that on, and you're going to line that up with the registration marks. So once you've got everything nice and happy with the registration marks, Once you're happy, you're going to take some tape, tape down the sides. I used the painter's tape again so you could see, but any tape will work. Tape the back. And you can also tape the front down at the bottom as well. So once it's in place, you lift the foot, lift the needle, <laughs> and remove the key. Whenever I'm using my angler, I always make sure that I tape my key right to my machine. Because when I'm done, I can tape it right back to my angler. And I store them together because you are going to need the key to use the, to reset the angler if you remove it. So keep them together and just taping it right to the machine right there makes it nice and easy. So this is how it works. We got our, tri our two squares, and we're going to sew from corner to corner. So you've got not only the needle points coming down, but you have those diagonals. So I can get my needle point. That center line is where my needle is. But I can also use the diagonals to make sure everything is right where it should be. And my focal point is that center line. And that way I can get from point to point. Nice clean point. Voila! Okay, so the center line is where the needle is, but on either side is a quarter of an inch away. So there are those patterns that you have that will have you um, use one square to make two two sets. So you'll just offshoot it 
to the quarter of an inch. Use your diagonal marks to make sure everything's nice and straight. And then just keep that point on the focal, focal mark or focal point. I can come and do the other side now. So now I'm a quarter of an inch away from that center again. Using my diagonals to line everything up. And keeping my, my little point right there, I can have a nice straight line. And I'll just cut right down the center. And I end up with two squares. Ta-da! So this is what we were working on the other day. So you line up your square. See how you can use the diagonals to help you line it up as well. Focal point right down at the bottom. And then nice, straight from corner to corner. Nice straight line. Ta-da! And of course, you can use it the traditional way. So regular piece work, it's a quarter of an inch seam, gives you nice long focal point. So you can use it for tr traditional work as well. And then when you're done, you wanna take your key tape it to your angler, remove the whole thing, and make sure you store them both together because you'll need both to re reset it. 